that freaking cat. I've made your videos before, but here goes another one. So just so you know where this conversation is headed, if you choose to stay for the whole thing, is I'm going to ask you about breathing. I'm going to ask you about your, the quality of your movement. I'm going to ask you about uh, juggling, and I'm going to ask you about dribbling. And I'm also going to ask about a kick trainer. So take this test. If you take a deep breath and your shoulders go up instead of your belly going out, then you got to check out this video called How to Breathe by Dr. Vranich. Right? Most people, most players, take, they, say, they take a deep breath. They go, right? They go, that's not a good way how to breathe, especially if you're a soccer player because it uses a lot of energy, right? Raising your shoulders up is going to create tension and it, instead of that energy used for whatever you're doing playing soccer, you could use, you could do this belly breathing technique, right? This is how you're supposed to breathe in theory because it uses less energy. You go, right? That's, that's Dr. Vranich belly breathing, V-R-A-N-I-C-H, right? Three minutes without air, three hours in an unhospitable environment, three weeks without food and water, you'd be dead. Three minutes without air. That's why breathing is the most important thing. So if the only thing you take away from this video is check out that Dr. Vranich breathing video, that'll change your life, I promise you. That's what I wish I knew 27 years ago. That's why I'm doing this freaking video. <laughs> Because you want com more composure as a winger, right? You want to score more goals. And if you can be more relaxed when you're... If you can't be relaxed when you're just at home in your kitchen, then, right, the way you practice is the way you play. you got to be able to be calm here. Because if, you're, if, you, if you haven't learned how to be relaxed when you're somewhere where you should be relaxed, then to expect yourself to be composed when you're in a high-pressure situation on the field, it's just not going to happen, right? It's not realistic. And breathing is like huge this huge part of being relaxed in the field so if you can learn that breathing technique then it's going to completely change the quality of your life on and off the field my next question is do you own a jump rope or can you make an rmt rope and the reason why this freaking thing is so powerful is because not only is it portable lightweight and cheap right cheap to make you can make one of these for 10 bucks it's because it's an effort. It's like having a soccer gym with you anywhere you go, right? This is an RMT rope. It's invented by this guy named David Weck. And even though it's just a simple piece of rope, why it's so powerful is because you're, it has your hands and feet working together, right? If you ever seen a soccer player on the field and they, they, they kind of don't look like they know where their body is, like they, they look like a baby giraffe on the field or maybe their, their running technique is poor, this... This tool helps not only improve your running technique, helps you become more explosive, it's gonna improve your juggling, it's gonna improve your timing, rhythm, coordination, right? It's just, it helps your hands and your feet talk together, right? It kind of harmonizes your whole body's movement. So as you swing it in circles, you just develop this effortless um, strength through motion, right? Because you're getting balance in different ranges of motion, and that's just gonna help you be able to understand where your body is, so, so it's going to help you be a more an effective winger because you're going to have a better understanding of yourself when you're running and dribbling and juggling and also being able to shield people off the ball. So for all those reasons, it's like all these players spend so much time driving to gymnasiums, right? They drive to the gym, they do their squats, they do their bench press, they do their shoulder press, and then they drive home. And then, you know, then when they go get out on the field, they're like slugs, right? They can't move dynamically. Meanwhile, you have people, right? You got some players who you get a, a rope and then you just start to swing it around. Right? It's like this is this is going to make you agile. It's going to help you become nimble, right? And just be able to move effectively, more effectively than you're already moving without using this. Right, this is like the ideal, ideal warm-up tool for soccer players. And if you're not using one, man, right now would be a good time to start. So cheap, right? Ten bucks. How to make an RMT rope? David Weck, W E C K. And what this flows right into is a kick trainer. Right? You think about it's like 
okay, let's say, right, you want to score more goals. Well, it's helpful to understand where the ball, the ball is going when it leaves your foot. So this is a tool that's just going to improve your timing, balance, rhythm, and coordination any, everywhere you bring it. So you don't have to wait for a training partner. You don't have to go to a wall, and you don't need to lug around a rebounder. I'm not saying this ball on a rope is better than any of those things, but what I'm saying is there's no friction. You don't have to wait for anyone, so it removes a time component or the time it takes for you to actually go to a wall or, or you know, it's just, you could, you could in, in 60 seconds, you could get 60 touches, which means in 15 minutes, while you're watching maybe some, some soccer, football on TV, or, or warming up before practice or a game, you can get you could get 900 touches effortlessly so you know it's just it just helps you get out of your mind and into the ball right it's perfect practice it's moving meditation <sighs> nice and easy and lastly right my question is can you bring can you bring a ball everywhere you go Right, because then if you bring a ball everywhere you go, you can get more touches. And then in theory, the more touches you get, the more mistakes you make, the more mistakes you make, the more you'll learn. So alternating, right, rotating between juggling, right, juggling balls, both feet, and then dribbling. Right? So you might not know this sequence. This is the Tom Turnbull dribbling sequence. It goes outside, outside, inside, outside, inside. Outside, outside, inside, outside, inside. Outside, outside, inside, outside, inside. If you repeat this over and over and over and over, it's gonna start to, um, it's gonna internalize in your body, right? There's a mind-body connection. So this is super effective because it's gonna allow you to not think about dribbling. And why that's important is because you don't wanna think about dribbling while you're dribbling, you just want to dance around defenders. So it's going to help you develop awareness with the ball at your feet in a very relaxed and effortless way. So that's it. If you start to do rotations of these five things and stop spending so much time on doing things that don't help you grow as a player, but it's not just about doing these things, it's about not doing some things that are not going to help you grow. And the beauty of all these things is that they're hyper-portable Right, you don't need to go to a, right, you don't need to drive to a gym, you don't need to carry around a lot of BS, you could just fit all these, all this stuff in your, in your school bag, your gym bag, whatever, right, you could bring a tennis ball, kick trainer, and a rope, or a jump rope with you everywhere you go, and so for that reason, if you bring these things with you everywhere you go, then the world, it almost turns into your soccer gym, right, you turn the world into your oyster, literally, so, um, Right, if you don't have a ball in your hand right now as you're watching this or by your feet, then I would take stock, take grab all the balls around you, invest in a kick trainer, arm tee rope, especially if you're going to commit the next four to five years of your life playing soccer at university. Right, these are simple tools that even the best players in the country could benefit from just for using a few minutes a day. So hopefully this helps. Reach out with any questions. All right, thank you.